Hey guys, it's Silky and that's Rukunda. So, like, two weeks ago, is it already? Kimchi came. Oh my god. Like, I was literally OMG. I was like, OMG, guys. I have been watching RuPaul Drag Race, like, for, like, whole life. Not whole life, but like, I, since I came out, I was really interested in, like, drag culture. So, that's how I knew about RuPaul Drag Race. That's the first time that I saw Kimchi. And I found out that, um, she's Asian? Okay, where she's from? And I searched it, and then she is from Korea. And I was like, wow. So many friends of mine in LA, like, met her in real life. And I was like, oh my god, that's my dream. That's my dream. And finally, I heard from my friend that, like, Kim Chi's coming to Korea. I said, what? Thanks to Matt Bambi, Fake Virgin, they hosted the event for her. And I reserved right away. I reserved right away because it was 20 bucks for people who reserve and or you have to pay 25 but I reserved it. And then I got an event that like I can get like free tickets. So I got it. I got it. My friends and I just booked the hotel just right behind the club. And we just like used the room for like makeup before we go out. So they did a drag makeup and I did the just routine makeup for like night out. The girls night out happened. And then Oh my god, there was so long line in front of the uh, club. It was not only in front of the club, it was like around the corner until like the line store in the Itaewon. And it was so long and I was like worried about oh my god. So all the people came to see Kimchi, how can I go out? But thankfully, my friends are doing drag and I could just go right away. And oh my god, Kim Chi was there. I met her in the waiting room, VIP room. And then I saw her, and I was so, sh so shy, like, because I've never seen Kim Chi in my life. And I was like, girl, I'm your big fan. I'm your big fan. My English was not coming up. Even Korean was not coming up because I knew that he she was Korean. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, you look so amazing. Like, I was being like fangirl. I was like, oh my god. And I couldn't say about my YouTube channel. I couldn't say anything. So I was like, oh my god. But my friend helped me to talk about, you know, my YouTube channel. And he said like, oh, he came out in high school, blah, blah. blah. And then <laughs> Kim just was like, oh, it's taboo. And I was laughing so hard, but I couldn't even say it anything right now because I was like, froze. And I went to make a video with her, but she was so busy, so she couldn't reach my message, but I thought that it was the best time to make a video with her. So I just made it, in the VIP room. Hey, I just met Kimchi. Hi, just little old me. Oh my god, this is my dream come true. Oh, dream bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything to say to my subscribers in Korea? Hi, I'm just here to disappoint. Aww. First, I disappointed entire America, so now I'm here to disappoint Korea too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's still like dream bigger girl, dream bigger. Because I said like, oh, this this is my dream come true, and she's like dream bigger girl. <laughs> I was so laughing so hard. She's so hilarious. She's my best queen. She is good in acting. She her makeup is amazing. Oh my god, I'm being like the fan girl right now. What, what happened? So yeah, this is my first impression of Kimchi. Like I seen every show of her in Drag Race. My favorite one was the Fat Fan Nation, and she performed Fat Fan Nation. And when that song came out, I was like freaking out. I was dancing and like I was singing along. And all the girls and guys were like looking at me. I was like, who the fuck is that? Like, I was being loud, yeah. And whatever, like, who cares?
you have to promise me one thing, right? Go to a special drag show whenever a drag race queens in our town. Five, go support your Lego. Ugh, I couldn't even speak English right there. Go support your local queens. For real. All the queens you show on the show tonight, aren't they amazing? Without their performance and outfits, just because you know you don't go to drag shows. Support their art, seriously. Yeah. I wanted to be like her, so when Miles came to Korea, I wanted to be kimchi. So Miles helped me to do the kimchi makeup, and that was my first drag makeup ever in my life. So check out if you haven't checked out. And thank you so much again, Miles, and I really miss you. <laughs> but let's see it in LA. But anyway. And that was my impression, and soon the meat market for Halloween is coming up, so I'm gonna be in drag as Kimchi, but my drag name will be Kimbap Size Queen. Yes! <laughs> Isn't it a fun name? I, I just, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I really wanted to connect my name to the Starbucks because I love Starbucks, and Starbucks is my like first step of my day every day, but there were so many like drag queens who named just from like Starbucks and shit. I was like, girl, it's my thing. So I just wanted to be like another special. So I just want to be size queen. King Bob size queen, girl. And I'm gonna post a video when I do the drag. So check it out and stay tuned. And thank you so much, Kimchi, for letting me making a video. Anyway, I love you so much, Kimchi. And if if I ever have a chance to meet you in the States, I hope you remember me. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed my video and thumbs up my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. So check out my other videos and thank you so much. I love you so much. And thank you for a lovely message on my Instagram and Facebook. And I, that's my life. That's my best feeling ever while I'm doing YouTube channel because you guys saying that like, oh, you inspire me coming up, blah, blah, blah. And Actually, they made me really cry. I love you so much. I will do my best making better videos day by day. And I'll do my best for our life, our right, our culture, our community. Because we are all same, guys. Anyway, love you guys and see you guys later. Bye-bye.